This video shows how to mount a Logix 3800 positioner to a Mark I linear valve. The positioner can be mounted with the gauges and pneumatic connections facing to the left or the right. For this example, we will mount it with them facing to the left to minimize tubing requirements. Remove the nut and washer from the follower pin assembly. Then remove the retaining clip from the follower pin. Determine the actual stroke length of the valve. Insert the pin into the appropriate hole or slot as indicated on the follower arm. Make sure that the stamp side of the follower arm is toward the unthreaded end of the pin. Then install the washer and tighten the nut. Remove the nut from the shaft. Align the slot in the follower arm with the flat on the shaft and slide the follower arm onto the shaft. Then tighten the nut with a half inch wrench. The positioner has a clutch mechanism that allows for rotation of the shaft in either direction for easy adjustments. Rotate the arm until it is pointing directly away from the gauges and pneumatic connections when in the middle of the free range of travel. Align the two holes in the bracket with the threaded holes in the yoke. Install the bolts and adjust the bracket until it is level. Then tighten the bolts. Align the threaded holes in the positioner with the slotted holes on the bracket. Install the bolts, but do not tighten them completely. Position the takeoff arm onto the follower pin. Position the takeoff arm mounting slot against the stem clamp mounting pad. Apply Loctite 222 to the bolts. Install the washers and bolts into the stem clamp, but do not tighten completely. Install the retaining clip onto the follower pin. Then slide the takeoff arm until it is centered along the length of the follower pin. Align the takeoff arm so it is parallel with the top surface of the stem clamp. Then tighten the bolts. Apply regulated air to the actuator and gradually increase the pressure until the valve is at 50% stroke as noticed on the stroke indicator plate. Verify that the follower arm is horizontal when the valve is at 50% stroke. Adjust the positioner to make sure it's horizontal. When this is verified, tighten the bolts on the back of the positioner to the bracket with a half inch wrench. If mounted correctly, the follower arm should move approximately 30 degrees up and down from horizontal over the full stroke of the valve. Apply regulated air to the actuator to verify the stroke. Connect the tubing from the positioner to the actuator. Port A is connected to the bottom port of the actuator for air to open valves. Port B is connected to the top. The connections are reversed for air to close valves.
The Logix 3800 positioner can be mounted easily to an existing valve and used to replace other Logix 3000 model positioners. This mounting option requires a specially designed adapter bracket, which allows for the installation of the 3800 to the existing bracket. To do this, remove the tubing and existing Logix positioner from the valve. Remove the follower arm assembly from the existing positioner. The follower arm assembly will be reinstalled later on the 3800 mounting design. Place the specially designed adapter bracket with the side marked positioner side against the positioner. Install the bolts through the adapter bracket and into the threaded holes on the back of the positioner. Then tighten with a half inch wrench. Install the follower arm assembly onto the shaft of the positioner. Then tighten with a 3 8 inch wrench. The positioner has a clutch mechanism that allows for rotation of the shaft in either direction for easy adjustments. Rotate the arm until it is pointing directly away from the gauges and pneumatic connections when in the middle of the free range of travel. Rotate the follower arm and insert the pin into the appropriate slot of the takeoff arm based on the stroke length of the valve. Align the threaded holes in the adapter bracket with the holes in the existing bracket and install the bolts. Then tighten with a 7 16 inch wrench. Connect the tubing from the positioner to the actuator. Port A is connected to the bottom port of the actuator for air to open valves. Port B is connected to the top. The connections are reversed for air to close valves. When completed, the valve and positioner must be calibrated. For details on calibration, see the video on calibrating a Logix 3800 positioner.